Highway family, Joseph's Sack of Grain is a weekly devotion for God's people by Pastor Joey Govender. When there was a famine, Joseph provided grain for his family and the masses around him. The grain sustained them. The Word of God is your grain and is vital for your spiritual growth, sustenance and success. Here's today's edition of Joseph's Sack of Grain. Hi there everybody. I want to share the word of the Lord with you today and I know that the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Acts chapter 20 and verse number 35, the New Living Translation says this, And I have been a constant example of how you can help those in need by working hard. And then it says, You should remember the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Paul is talking to the church in Ephesus. He's just going to leave them and he's reminding them and says, listen, it's more blessed to give than to receive. My beloved, Christmas is almost upon us. Christmas is a wonderful time. And we think about buying gifts, about doing stuff in the house and everything else. But let me tell you, most people are concerned about themselves. They want to worry about their homes, their families, their loved ones, their spouse, their presence and everything else. But just take a little time and think about other people. It's a time of giving and I'm praying that the Lord's going to bless you. And I'm trying to get this message to you very early. It's more blessed to give than to receive. You know, uh, sometimes uh, your day seems ordinary. It seems like nothing good's happening. What you have to do is just get out, do something for somebody else, and you'll see how beautifully God will turn your day around. Then sometimes... You're having difficulty in your life. You'll find that everything is going wrong and you're depressed and somehow you feel downhearted and the joy seems to have left you. Just go out, do something, give something to somebody and you will notice that everything about you turns into joy. God will bless you. So the apostle said to the church, he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And you have to remember that this morning. And I'm praying that the Lord is going to bless you in Jesus' name. Some of you are asking, how can I give? What can I do? Listen, every local church has its own program. Your pastor has a program. Your church committee has a program. You have a lot of stuff that's going on in your church. You can become a part of that welfare group. Think about the Christmas parties they're having. They're having something for the children. They're having something for the adults. They're doing all of this stuff. You can go out there and you can give something to them. And then also think about the social organizations in your district, in your city, in your town. You have the welfare organizations, you have the senior citizens, others. You can go and do something for them. You can give that to them as well. Then think about your workplace. You have people. Some of them have many children and they can't take care of them. Some of them are the sole breadwinners in their homes. You can help them to do something. You can give to them. And then think about your colleagues. Some of them are suffering. Some of them are having it difficult. You can do something for them. You know, sometimes you can work with people. Sometimes you can live with people and you really don't know what's happening in their lives. But if you take a little time, you can find out what is happening and you can do something good for them. All I want to say to you is, Paul said to that church in Ephesus, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Go out there today, try what I'm saying. And not only that, but God will bless you a hundred times more with every blessing from heaven. God bless you. Have a great day. I'm going to talk to you again. And remember, it's more blessed to give than to receive. Take care in Jesus' name.